Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Let's Play RimWorld Alpha 15. So one thing I just noticed is Tynan, I think five days ago, he posted another screenshot of the next update of the game. And it had a lot of little, like it was a kind of silly little screenshot, but it, if you really looked at it, there's a lot of interesting things you can gather. He showed off drop pods, which... For those of you that don't know, like whenever we're raided, a lot of the times you notice the enemies will come down in those drop pod things. Actually, I know they used to, they would sometimes use your orbital trade beacon and drop down like somehow through that. I think that's how they used to work. But I've not, I've, I don't think I've had a raid like that in a long time, if like ever in the last couple alphas. I don't, yeah, I can't remember the last time I've had a raid where it was people coming down right on the base. But anyways, yeah, he's adding in the ability for you to build them yourself. So that's going to, I think, be one of the other ways you can transport yourself in the new alpha. Because I know he, well, he showed off a world view and it looks like you can make caravans soon. And I'm guessing that after you've used, well, after you've researched enough, then you can actually make your own drop pods, which probably makes transportation a lot quicker and easier and requiring less resources. And also, if you looked to the side in that uh, screenshot, you also see gasoline. Yeah, let me make sure I get someone to the exotic goods trader before I talk so long that I forget. Uh, yeah, Stylo, you're the best at that. I, for some reason, I never really use this. Like, I'm so used to going into work and then selecting my colonists there. I, like, always forget about this. It's just something I'm not used to yet. Even though I think it... I don't know, has it been here? I don't remember if it's been here since Alpha 14 or 15. Oh, hey! There's also a combat trader. I, I completely forgot about that. I suppose I can use that, too. I probably have a couple things to sell. Oh, yeah, we've got all these interesting modded knives and stuff. Yeah, combat blade. These seem interesting. I think I'll sell those. I'll keep that combat blade, I think. I think I'll sell the Thrasher too, because those, that thing, that's not the most, I really don't like the uh, Feral weaponry, it's really not the best. Ooh, they've got 10 components, I think I'll buy all of those. And I think I want my men, if they can, to hurry up stripping these people. Oh, no one actually stripped them yet. Oh yeah, I am constructing a Cremator too, so that'll be nice to use. I, yeah, I won't actually have to strip people anymore either, I can just haul them straight to the cremator yeah I'll just let Darth Kitten finish that up so yes anyways the one thing you can see in that one screenshot if you look at Tynan's blog is he also yeah I'm gonna empty all these graves, graves soon enough anyways so I don't really care that they're burying bodies with clothing but yes anyways I keep <laughs> interrupting myself there's gasoline so I'm assuming that means that we're gonna be able to make oil refineries and you're gonna be able to pump oil out of the ground I'm assuming it's going to be similar to the deep drilling technology. Maybe it'll even involve the deep drilling technology. And that's how you'll be able to get oil. And then I'm assuming, I mean, if oil's a thing, that also probably means you're going to be able to make power plants that run off of oil. So that'll be pretty cool too. So it seems like he's adding a whole host of new technologies, and that'll be awesome. It'll, it'll especially be nice having oil, which will be, I mean, it's not a renewable p source of energy, obviously. But it'll be a lot more reliable and consistent source of energy compared to wind and solar. And, well, also compared to these. Actually, speaking of which, I think I need to start working on a better source of uh, energy. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, we have some components now. I don't... We have some that are, like, scattered around, too. Yeah, there's eight down here. So there's, there's a lot of components that are nearby. So I'm thinking I'm going to deconstruct these because we're kind of out of wood because of the damn toxic fallout as well as a lot of fires and like I think we got attacked by like three or four groups of those alpha beavers so I think I'm going to work on a couple things of renewable energy. Yeah we have a decent amount of steel too so I think this will be an overall good idea. Oh yes, I'll do the one thing I did last time, which is I think the way a lot of people recommended I do it, is I can place like two of these, two two wind turbines, and then you can place 
solar panels underneath the wind turbines. And it won't cause any decrease in performance as far as I'm aware. At least not for the most part. Yeah, I think if we didn't have all those, all that toxic fallout and all that terrible shit, we probably could have been able to uh, keep running off of wood for a while, but unfortunately, with all the bad luck we've had, that's not really an option anymore, I don't think. Is this connected? No, it's not. I think we had an explosion or something a while ago, or either that or I just never connected this in the first place. That's I think that's more likely. I think I just never connected this, so we've had... I think we've had one turret that's just... Or no, have we been having... Wait, what? Okay, I think this one... Okay, no, no. They are all connected. Okay, never mind. I think I'll still do that anyways, though. Just in case. <clears throat> yeah, because eventually when we do add things down here, turrets down here, then they won't reach those power lines. Okay. Malera block production. Oh yes, I was doing a lot of research for the different drugs. That was something I was actually going to start getting into. I don't really think I'm going to do brewing, though. Because I don't think alcohol... I guess it helps with mood a little, but... I don't know. I think the thing I kind of really want to do is get some pot and whatever I can get with the psychoid leaves. I did look up some of the drugs, and I, I, I know a little bit more about the drugs now, but I can't really remember that much. Yeah, let me look here. Yeah, I can't remember which one's the like a good or a bad one. I do remember there's like two that are really bad, and I'll have to make sure I can remember which ones those are, because I know there's two drugs that really mess up your colonists. Okay, let's fast forward. I've been going at one time speed for a little too long. That's very much unlike me. I tend to always be at full blast when it comes to speed. Come on. Yeah, we just need components. Yes, this will very much be a good supplement to our current power production. And then I can add like four, I guess, is a good number to start with. Although, yeah, we're gonna need... Oh, oh that actually... Oh, I didn't know that. That actually... Yeah, you can't have... Apparently you cannot have power conduits underneath a group of solar panels. I did not know that. Okay, I'm going to make someone work on that, because otherwise we're just... Right now we're just wasting energy. Oh, and of course, I forgot Sarah's terrible at construction, for the most part. Come on. Just one more. Okay, there you go. Now we'll actually get all the power. Yeah, I did not know that. I don't know if that was always a thing. It probably was, I just forgot about it. Actually, I think I'll just construct two for now, because otherwise we'll just have four not completed soil panners, panels. I'd rather have two that they complete right away, at least. That would definitely be helpful. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. And this is got done a while ago. And now that everyone's awake... To forever and I don't know do they uh, to I can't remember if they take corpses out of the graves or not why are you hauling that thing yeah I wish you could uh cremate animals but I'm pretty sure you can't oh wait maybe you can let me look here okay yeah you can actually I'm gonna do the animal corpses because we've got all these stupid animal corpses that are, like, littering this area. Otherwise, I think all these I'll just keep forbidden. Yeah, otherwise... Although our entire map is littered with corpses because the toxic fallout kind of killed every single one of them. Yeah, there's a couple animals that have started migrating in, but that toxic fallout killed pretty much every single animal. And now there's just a shit ton of dead bodies everywhere. <laughs> Oh, you know one thing. Did I get... I don't... Let me look to research. Uh, I could do wake-up production. Actually, that is one drug I think I want. Yeah, but wake-up is definitely a good drug. I think it is a little bit more addictive than some of the other, other ones, but in the long run, it should be helpful. 
Yeah, it does seem like corpses in here don't get taken out of. Yeah, I'm going to deconstruct all the graves then. It'll take a long while. Okay, Stylo's really good at that, at least. Oh yeah, there's a lot of corpses people just buried a while ago without even bothering to notice. Oh, what are they wearing, actually? Oh, I wish I would have noticed. I buried a lot of people that still had clothing, and I never even noticed it, which is kind of sad. Okay, maybe not too many. There's like five or so. And I don't really care about the feral enemy's armor. It's these guys that I wish I would have not done that to. Yeah, pioneer helmets. Those look those look like they, at the very least, will be worth something. Yeah, Stylo, you're in a really bad mood. What exactly? Hideous environment? Okay. It's them seeing all these corpses, which I guess I could have... Instead of getting rid of every grave at once, I probably could have gotten rid of, like, a quarter of them. So that we didn't have all this these debuffs from the corpses, but... Whatever. You live and you learn. Okay, so we're gonna yeah, we're definitely gonna need more components soon. Uh, there yeah, there's still ten over there. People just aren't hauling them. Yeah, wake up. Uh, what's the other one? I think I was gonna do machine production. Oh yeah, that allows you to produce medicine. Regular medicine. Oh no, that's medicine production. I don't know how I read that as machine production. Defense tech. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. That'll actually let us produce certain defensive turrets that are only available with the mod. Uh, I think I need... Yeah, machining is something I want. Oh, I just need to research smelting. Okay, let me research smelting, actually. Or smithing, I mean. God, I keep misreading everything. Okay, I think I need to research smithing. Because I want to get, like, we've got, yeah, we've got quite a, f not that many, but we've got enough. Yeah, and there's one over here. Yeah, someone could shut him down. As well as him. And I, did I ever, no, I did not deconstruct that. Yeah, someone can go ahead and deconstruct this as well. Actually, you know what, I'm going to be smart here. I kind of noticed something. It would make a little more sense. And I know this is a really asinine way for me to do this. It would make a little more sense for me to put that, damn it, in its lead the whole thing. Of course. I did that so I could try to keep this one square, but it ended up deleting the whole damn thing anyways. Okay. Clear all. Critical. Manufacture. No, it's not manufactured. It's raw resources. Uh, can't see anything, or I'm stupid. Okay, stone blocks and limestone, right? Yes, there we go. Yes, it would make more sense to do this one, like, right here. Because it, it's kind of odd that we have to go all the way up if we want to exit our base. You know, it doesn't make much sense. What? I swear I canceled that. Apparently not, though. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, and I want to disassemble that guy, too. Oh, yeah, we have all these guys, too, and I think we need a machining bench to take them apart. So, yeah, I really want to get a machining bench done. Yeah, I don't know what these guys even have. I'm not sure if they'll have components or what. Because I don't believe they used to be a thing. Or, well, no, they're a thing with the mod only, so I really have no experience with taking those guys apart. Yeah, it appears that all of these are less than 50, so no one's going to actually end up wearing them. I'm sure being buried underground wasn't good for their condition. Ooh, there's one tactical vest. Someone gets to wear that, I guess. Hmm. Is everyone... Yeah, everyone's still just salty about rotting corpses. Otherwise, we actually got all the corpses gone, so that's good. And it'll be nice to uh, get some stuff hauled. Yeah, I wish that exotic goods trader was still here, because now we're going to have a bunch of pretty well decomposed clothing just sitting around. Okay. 
Yes, it's very nice we're actually getting growing done too, because there was a very long period of time where we really weren't able to do much with regards to growing. I think I want to make potato plants. Ugh, maybe not, though. Yeah, I don't want to do that right now because we only have five colonists, so... Spending that much time growing I don't think is necessarily the best idea. Oh, fish, what are you doing way over here? Oh, I guess that is a better bed, isn't it? Yeah, I would try deconstructing all these beds and reconstructing them like I think I did a while ago, but we don't have much mud wood. Oh, you know what? I said I was gonna, yeah, I've been procrastinating doing this. I should probably make all these wood walls into slate walls. I've got about 300 slates, so I can do it for at least a smaller building. Uh, I guess I'll do it for the... Eh, I don't really want to do it for the bedrooms. Well, okay, I will. <laughs> God, I'm ind indecisive. Yeah, I'll start deconstructing all the walls for this. Yeah, it's nice. It's The temperature isn't bad enough that I have to really worry. Actually, let me just do the front walls. I'll just keep the back walls, and then, the well, the roof will probably fall. Never mind. Yeah, I forgot that half our base is covered in roof, so I don't really want to deconstruct. I want to keep some main support walls down. Otherwise, I will have people getting crushed by walls left and right more than likely. Okay. Smithing. Good. Now I just need... Where is it? Machining. That's the ticket. Okay. Well, yeah, let's just wait for him to finish deconstructing, then I'll start building them. Yeah, I mean, we admittedly have a exterior wall around our base, so we don't really have to worry too much about stuff getting set on fire. I guess we kind of do, because we haven't had any uh, artillery raids or anything, but if we did in the near future, that would definitely be something that would really mess our day up. Because if it hit, if it hit like over here especially, that would completely destroy a lot of our food and everything. So it'll just be nice having actual stone walls so that nothing can get set on fire by asshole raiders, at least not in the near future. Alright, yeah, I need to get a lot more slate. I think... Okay, that's all done. Yeah, let me actually enable both... Yeah, let me just enable slate on both of these. Yeah, that one can be both limestone and slate. Whoops. I guess I'll do like 10 each. Okay, that should be good. I think I have a bunch of people, yeah. I ended up enabling a bunch of people for that. Actually, which of these people is the least likely to do useful things? I guess... Hmm. Whatever, that'll be good enough for now. Okay, that's all done. 224 still. Yeah, let's... Yeah, I think it's still considered an enclosed space, even if we get rid of the corner walls. I think, maybe not, though. I can't quite remember. Yeah, the reason why I didn't just deconstruct everything is because I realized by the time it became nighttime, I'd probably end up having a bunch of half-finished rooms, and then that would probably make all my colonists. It would it would give them all the slept outside debuff. Or not I don't know if it would be slept out yeah, I think it'd be slept outside. And they'd probably also get the debuff for being woken up as well. And I do not want either of those things. Alright, awesome. We're getting a lot of that done. Yeah, it also might be a good idea to get a smelter as well, because we've got a lot of slag. The problem is, is smelting, it's, it, it takes a lot of energy and time with very little, very little, uh, hmm. This is the first time we've had one of these in a while. A nurse named William Will Taylor calls you from nearby. He is being chased by pirates from the Mantis of Struggle. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. I think I'm gonna do this. I tend to always refuse this because I usually either don't have enough food or I don't want to take the risk. But for once, we're in pretty good sorts. Okay, you're a cannibal, you're iron willed, 
but you're also a pessimist. Okay, Iron Willed seems to balance out that. So he's a pretty good investment, I think. He's good at social and medicine. Otherwise, not really good at anything else. It looks like you're going to be a pretty much dedicated hauler and cleaner, good sir. Yeah, don't have many other uses. I'll also do that for you, because you're not really useful at anything else. So you can at least make some wood. Uh, growing, you're also not good at. You have a 5, though. So even though you won't learn it quickly, I think you're good enough that I'm willing to let you do that. Okay, you're also a doctor. Yeah, you don't need to be a four anymore, Mr. Kitten. Yeah, you're not. You weren't any good at it in the first place. And you, otherwise, yeah, that'll work. Uh, you know what? This is unprofessional as hell. I'm going to show you guys my desktop. There you go. Okay, colonist names. Yes, I know. This is completely unprofessional, but... And I, if I was a really good video maker, I'd edit this out. Okay, there we go. There you go. There's my beautiful desktop. I'm sure someone's going to say, holy crap, you have a lot of games. Okay. The Har... Harl? Har... Harl? I don't know how to pronounce that. The, the Hariel. Hariel? I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, that works, though. Yeah, I... I couldn't remember another colonist's name that I could add, so I just felt like being unprofessional and going to my desktop. <laughs> oh my. They are all... You know, Mr. Hariel, uh... I might have spelt that name incorrectly too. For some reason, I thought it might it's supposed to be Harley instead of Har Hariel. Hmm, I don't know. Because that's very hard to pronounce, whatever that name is. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking it'd be a good idea for you to do that. Holy crap, yeah, these guys must have... They're either drug... Yeah, these guys are either druggies or they've got bionic legs. Okay, no. I think they're just on drugs. Yeah, go juice... Yeah, that guy is very, very quick because he's high as a kite right now. Okay, everyone, get up. Vibes actually go ahead and flick of that switch. Yeah, that guy's going to be here very quickly. Not that that's going to benefit him all because he's just going to get mowed down by all the dirts right away, but hey, it works out for us in the end. God, you know what? I think the, la the two times we've gotten attacked by the regular raiders... We were attacked by ones who are uh, meleeers, which is kind of annoying because I really wanted the chance to get some higher quality weapons than all this crap we've been using from the ferals. But looks like that's not going to happen. Yeah, that guy is so quick. He should be dead very soon, though. I believe uh, Go Juice actually also makes. Ah, oh, damn it, he was able to destroy a turret. But yeah, I think Gojuice, if I remember correctly, it also makes you very insusceptible to uh, damage. So, pretty much you're, the character doesn't go down until they're dead. Yeah, these guys definitely have some very good shields. Holy crap, I can't believe that guy lasted as long as he did. That must be a very good shield that he has. Okay, and they're fleeing. Should be able to maybe get another one. Yeah, that guy's down. We could have another person right away, too, if I wanted to. Let's see. Let me just take a look at his character right away. Lazy, trigger-happy, and neurotic. Hmm. Uh, I feel like these two... Yeah, these two just balance out each other, so really he's just more quick to break down. Because I was going to say... He'd, he'd be a really fast worker, but actually he's just average because he's also lazy. So really, he doesn't have anything going for him, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I don't really want another guy right away. I mean, we don't have that large of a colony, so I could probably risk adding another person, but nah, I don't really want to take that risk. Let me see, though. 
You know what I've noticed? Correct me. Has anyone else noticed this too? It kind of seems like characters that are like neurotic and just generally more crazy, they tend to be better at like arts and crafts in this game. Because I notice whenever I get to the late game, because I tend to always exclude people that are crazy, I never end up having people that are good at arts or crafts. Has anyone noticed that either? Maybe it's just me. <laughs> but I've just felt like in general, it seems like that tends to be a thing. That the crazy people are the ones that are good at art. Which I guess, depending on your opinion, I guess is kind of true to real life as well. But whatever. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope to see you next time. And goodbye.